situations that we see as threats throw up, they throw up filters between you and the work that you need to do. So it's like having a blurry glass window between you and what you're trying to see. So mentally, when we have stresses, part of our brain, instead of being able to focus on the work in front of you, focus on the question, focus on actually dealing with the situation, it's almost like a blurry piece of glass has been thrown up between you and your work. And you can't quite think about it the same way because part of your attention and part of your mental space is being taken up by stress, worry, concern, what if, what's going to happen here, how does this work, I should have done this, I should have done that. Um, so there's a, there's a bunch of filters between us and our ability to use our work effectively and calming down allows us to see those filters for what they are and remove them so that I can, so that we can focus directly on the work that we're doing. By seeing these things for what they are, by being aware of what's going on in our mind, we're able to choose how to behave. And the best tool we have for dealing with this is the active skill and the ability to force ourselves to calm down in situations that freak us out. And it sounds like such a simple thing, but we know that it's not. When I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Having someone tell me to calm down isn't going to make me calm down. I need to have an active skill of saying, I'm stressed, I'm freaked out, I can see that I'm stressed. And I am able to take control of that and not allow it to go any further and actually dial it back and go, okay, I'm removing that stress. Super easy, right? Sounds so easy, but it's really not. Again, this takes active skill development and practice to get to a point where you're able to choose how to respond to situations that normally freak you out.